Hello, and welcome to another Hexdom tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at the Translate My Store and Currency app, also known as TMS for short. But more specifically, we're going to be looking at the TMS selector with Shopify Markets. And first, we're going to see the different selector configurations. These configurations can be changed based on how many regions, languages, and currencies you have. Now for the first configuration, let's check out our regions and languages. As we can see, we have two different markets, the Canada market and the Eurozone market. We've got four different regions in those two markets. And for the Canada market, we have two languages, as well as four languages for the Eurozone market. In the Canada market, using Canadian currency, and the Eurozone market, using Euros. And then if we go to the selector on the left-hand side, here we're looking at the languages and regions slash currency selector. In this example, with this specific selector, it can only be used if we have more than one region, as well as more than one language. And because we have four regions and four different languages, we can use this. So let's check it out on our store. So if we go down to the selector on the bottom right, we can see Canada, Dollars, and English. But if we click on it, we can see all of our different regions and our different languages. So with Canada and Dollars, I can choose English or French. But if I click on France as a region, which is using Euros, I can choose from now these four different languages. And as we can see, Germany and Spain has the same options. So for this example, let's go to the France region with Euros, and we'll choose the French language, and click Change. And there we go, we can see the selector at the bottom right. It has the France flag, Euros, and French. So now let's go to a product, and as we can see, our theme is translated to French, and our products are showing in Euros. So if we click on Fancy Shirt, and let's add this to our cart, and let's check out. As we can see, our checkout is in French, and we even have Euros. And this would work with any other combination of languages and currency. So now let's go back to TMS and check out another selector configuration. So for our second configuration, we can see our market setup right here. We have a single region, and we have more than one language. And jumping over to the selector page, looking at the configuration, as we can see, we can only choose the language selector. And this is because if there's only one region, but there's multiple languages, this language selector will be the only one available. And here on the right side, we can see the preview of the selector. And as you can see, it's pretty simple because we don't have any regions or currencies to select from. We can only choose different languages. And this is all because there's only one region. Now let's look at our third and final selector configuration. Now looking at our regions and languages page on TMS, we can see that we still have our two different markets, Canada and Eurozone. We have our four different regions, our two different currencies, but we're only supporting one language. Now this is important for the third and final selector configuration. So let's go to the selector page. And as we can see, it's automatically selected for us because the other options are not available. And this is because we have multiple markets and currencies, but we only have one language, English. So now let's check out the preview on the right side. As we can see, because there's only one language, we don't need it in the selector. So we can pick our four different regions. All four of these different regions will display in English, but the currencies are still different. So for Canada, of course, it's the Canadian dollar, and Euros for France, Spain, and Germany. Before we continue on the selector page, I have changed the market settings back to the way they were before. So we have the two different markets, the four different regions, Canadian currency, Euros, English and French for Canada, as well as German and Spanish for Eurozone. So now with these new settings, let's go back to the selector page. On this page is where you can decide if you want the selector to be enabled or disabled. Of course, we're going to keep it on. And for this example, we're going to be using the languages and regions slash currency selector. The first selector style is pop-up. And let's check it out on our store. So by clicking on our language selector, our screen changes, allowing us to change the location as well as the languages within each region. As we can see, Canada only has English and French, and this would keep the currency in Canadian dollars. And the three other regions are using euros. And you could switch between these four different languages. So back to TMS. And we could check out the other selector style, drop down. Now with drop down, we can click on the selector and we could see some drop down options popping up. So we could change the region, let's say to Germany, and we could change the language to German and click change. Going down, our next option is sorting the regions. So let's say if we want Germany on top, there we go, it's just that easy. You can also change the region label. So right now we're showing the region name and the currency symbol, but this is fully customizable with every possible combination, but we're gonna leave it as it is. On our selector on the right side, we can change the language label 
instead of the name, we could use the language code, where we're going to keep it as the name, and we can also disable the flag if we want to. The font color and the background color of the selector is both customizable, as well as the opacity. For example, because it's set to 100%, the selector is not see-through at all. If it's set halfway, then our selector is slightly see-through, and if it's set all the way to the left, it's completely see-through. There's two different options for the selector position. So we can have a floating selector that's always on the screen, and it can be positioned into any one of the corners. There's also padding options, allowing you to customize the distance the selector is from the left and right walls, as well as the top and bottom walls. And these are the walls of your web browser. Now the other placement option is inserting the selector into the header. Now I was displaying this before with my debut theme, and if we go back, we can see the selector is right up here in the header. And this works for many more themes. But for now, we're going to keep our selector as floating and always seen. Continuing on, we can change our default region and currency. So currently, all of my customers are going to be immediately set to the Canadian region and Canadian currency. But the selector can be automatically customized based off of the customer's geolocation. So if a customer is from Germany, it'll be automatically set to the German region. And the same thing goes with the default language. We could display English because it's my shop's default language, or we could set it to our customer's browser language. So just like if they were from Germany, their language would be automatically set to German. Now there's also a recommendation pop-up, and this allows your customers to get a pop-up selector as soon as they come to your shop. So if we turn this on, let's say your customer is from Germany and their selector gets automatically set to German. They might want to view your shop maybe in English. So with this pop-up, they could potentially click change region and language and switch it to English. And of course, all of the elements on this pop-up are customizable right here. But we're gonna leave the pop-up off. The last option is right to left layout. This right to left layout would only be applied to these languages right here. So if you wish for these languages to be displayed in right to left instead of left to right, when they're enabled, you can leave this as on. And then these languages will display correctly. But since we're not supporting these languages, we can leave this off. And let's go ahead and save. Now, if we go back to our shop and refresh, we could see we have our floating selector right here with our drop down options where we can easily change to another region, a currency, and a language. Well, thank you very much for watching, and please let us know if you have any questions.